Today is a wonderful day for students to write and publish books. And in this screencast, I'd like to show you how you can listen and read an enhanced ebook that includes student recorded audio right within your web browser, no matter what kind of computer you happen to be using. In the spring of 2013, third graders in Mrs. Moore's class in Oklahoma City Public Schools created a book about their favorite books. And they did this using an iPad and an app called Book Creator by a company named Red Jumper. And this book is available on Lulu as a printed paperback book. However, this book is also available online in several different formats. And while you can download this as a PDF file, PDFs don't have currently the ability to embed audio and have reflowable text in the same way that you can with an EPUB book. But the difficulty is if you just click on the EPUB, your computer and your web browser won't know what to do with it. EPUB you can find in Wikipedia and it's an open format for electronic books and it's utilized by a lot of different e-readers. In fact, just about every e-reader except the Amazon Kindle line will use it. There is an open project called Readium, it's R-E-A-D-I-U-M, and you can go to readium.org to learn more, that is working on these standards. And one of the things that they've done is they've created a free extension for the Chrome web browser. So if you open up the Chrome um, web browser, you have to download it, and then you can open this Readium extension and then install it, and this is going to allow you to load up um, an ebook right within your browser that has enhanced audio in it. So the first step you're going to want to do is download the ebook after you get Chrome and the extension. And so in this case, when you go to the web link for this particular book, you've got a link that says download the EPUB version and that's going to take you to Dropbox and you can download that. So I've already downloaded that here to my desktop and that's what this file is right here um, that's on my desktop. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up a new window and I'm going to click on the Readium tab and then I'm going to go ahead and load it. Now this is an older uh, version actually which didn't have the audio and so I'm going to click up here in the upper right corner to add a book and then I'm going to choose the file and I'll browse to it on my desktop. So there it is on the desktop and I'm going to click open and it's going to load up right into my web browser. And now we'll go ahead and read it and I'll go ahead and play it for you. This is a picture of Jack climbing up the beanstalk. He is looking at his house. His mom and cat are looking at him. If you look closely, his mom is waving at him. One disadvantage is Redium does separate the two pages. The caterpillar was so hungry that it ate a lot of food. The next day it was fat. Please, will you give us some of your concrete, Beaver, said the second wolf. Certainly, said Beaver. He gave them buckets full of concrete. Right away, they started building before the big bad pig showed up. Now I actually just remembered I can go here to options and choose double pages and that's what I should have done before because then look what I get to do. I get to see both pages together like I want to on my book. One day Mr. Fox was walking home. He saw two scissor tail fly catchers on his bird house. It was the first time he ever saw a scissor tail fly catcher. He was so excited to see them for the first time ever. Toby and his sister went with Grandmother Chipmunk to her house. Grandmother Chipmunk broke her foot and did not have enough food. They learned how to find food. George worked on another zero before Mrs. D came to take his order. My picture is about the three little pigs. The pigs are building their house out of different things. One house is straw, and the other two are sticks and bricks. They had to bet their mom for help because they didn't have any money. This is an illustration of the original lady who swallowed a fly. She swallowed the fly, but I don't know why she, she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll die. She ate a fly, spider, bird, cat, dog, cow, and a horse. 
If you take him after school, he'll ask you for your lunchbox. Changes all. If he asks us for your lunchbox, they'll have to take him back to school. This part is my favorite. It is one of the five little monkeys jumping on the bed. See how fun it looks? She is having a blast. This is Mrs. Green. At first she is a true monster, but that's only in the boy's dream. If you look closely, you can see the man with the yellow hat waving at Curious George. This is a picture of my two favorite characters from Bear Snores On, Badger and Hare. Mouse is crawling down on the ground and Bear is sleeping. All of the animals are having a party in Bear's den without Bear, knowing it. Bear just snores on. Kia George went to the fundraiser at the children's hospital. They were making pancakes. George decided to help decorate the pancakes with blueberries. The pancakes were so good that George caused the man making the pancakes to run out of pancakes. The man needed some help, so he left to get an assistant. In the meantime, Curious George began making and decorating the pancakes for the people. When the man returned, he was shocked to see the monkey working. George ran away with syrup all over him. On Saturday, the caterpillar ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, and one sl slice of salami. I read the story Cinderella by Barbara Clintock. This is a picture of Cinderella when the fairy godmother made Cinderella's dress change. It is my favorite part because it seemed magical to me. It was, it was magical because at first her dress was like rags and dirty, but then a beautiful dress appeared out of nowhere. His mother didn't like duck feet in the house. So he switched to horns. The horns are my favorite part of the book because he plays football with them. Not many women want to be astronauts, and Miss Piggy in this book was dressed in a spacesuit. Her other dream was to become a movie star. She did, and I think she was great. The cat was in the tub eating cake. Rumble is a mascot for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He does many funny tricks on the fence. Rumble was named mascot on February 12, 2009. He was named after the sound Thunder makes. Okay, so that's it. You can find this ebook and other links we've been talking about on the website ebooks.playingwithmedia.com slash more, M-O-O-R-E. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you can also find a link to additional resources about creating multimedia ebooks that you can check out so that you can uh, create ebooks just like this for your own students. And you can use the wonderful free plugin for Google Chrome called Readium to be able to read those on any device. You also, of course, can read these enhanced ebooks on an iOS device like an iPad, an iPhone, or an iPod Touch, but thanks to the Redium project and its Chrome extension, you can also read them in a regular web browser.